Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer. This is an 18-man free-for-all from a live stream with you guys, so you'll notice the spawns look a little crazy. But this video is about Kill Confirmed returning to Black Ops 2. We haven't seen that, and it looked like the major game type that was missing from Black Ops 2. But I just saw the footage of it, and I'm psyched. It's, uh, it, you know, it was clear as day that you kill the guy, the dog tag was there, the dog tags were slightly smaller and slightly lower to the ground, but... It was definitely kill confirmed, and I've been missing that. Now, what's extra cool about this is the way that the kill streaks work. Let's talk. One thing that's always bothered me about Modern Warfare 3's implementation of Kill Confirmed is the fact that there's no incentive for playing the objective. Um, in Modern Warfare 3, you know, it, it's kind of like TDM. You kill guys, you build up your streak. If you do that dangerous behavior, like picking up dog tags that helps you win the game, then you get nothing for it. And that's always frustrated me. Well, in, Modern, in Black Ops 2, that's changing. So here's what I noticed. You get 50 points for killing a guy. All right, fair enough. 50 points for killing a guy is the same in just about all the uh, objective game modes. And then you get 100 points for picking up their tag, and you get 25 points if one of your teammate picks up the tag that you left on the ground. So that's cool, and that's fair. And I love it. How many YouTube games have you seen where people run around, um, you know, getting their kills, but they don't bother picking up tags, right? They're going for moabs, they don't want the game to end, so they just, you know, leave all these tags on the ground. And it bugs me, you know, oh, okay, I'll admit there are certain situations where not picking up the tag is the smart thing to do. One that comes to mind is that tag is in a really dangerous spot and it's not worth your death to potentially get a single tag, right? That's a smart thing. Uh, you know, if you get your whatever pave low up there, then that's six tags laying around on the ground. It's a much wiser investment not to get yourself killed picking up a tag. Another is if the tag's in a dangerous spot, you can use that tag as a UAV of sorts. You know, it's sitting there, it's on the mini map, and uh, the moment that tag gets picked up, then you know someone's entered that area cool, right? You know, I, I get that. There are some smart ways not to pick up tags, but that's not what I'm talking about. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about. You're, I'm talking about the guys who sit there and run right past a tag because they're not objective players, because they don't want to do anything that could potentially put them at risk. That, that is the BS. And that's what it looks like Black Ops is fixing. Man, at every turn, they are finding a way to make Call of Duty a more objective-based game. And I think it's awesome. So, yeah, Kill Confirmed is back. I've seen it with my own two eyes, and I'm psyched about that. And they're changing the way that score streaks work to make people play the objective. You are not going to be leading lobbies in Black Ops 2 if you're not doing the sorts of things that make your team win games. And I, yeah, I don't know. Like, it, I'm more excited about Black Ops 2 than I have been in a COD in a long time. And, I, you know... I just feel like they're making the right moves in this thing, and I'm more than tired of uh, you know of, of people that aren't playing for wins. So anyway, Kill Confirmed is back in Black Ops 2. I thought you guys would be interested in the news, and uh, have a good day. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like. If you're new around here and you enjoyed it, click subscribe in the top right and you'll see future stuff from me. Two vids you may have missed. Yesterday, Tactical Tuesday, I did a live commentary on the map boardwalk and I talked about you know what I was thinking as I was thinking. It was a little bit of switch up on Tact Tuesday. I thought it went over really well. On the right, how to get on Mail Monday. Have a good day.